Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSC Partshala. We were studying about machine learning using Python 3 and in this tutorial we will study about uniform logistic and multimonial distribution. Okay, so first we talk about a uniform distribution. Uniform distribution is described as probability where every event has equal chances of its occurring. Okay, for example, if you take uh, generation of a random numbers, uh, so the probability of occurrence of any number uh, to be as a random is almost or we said that it is same. It has three parameters. These are lower bound, that is A, whose default value is 0, upper bound, that is B, whose default value is 1, and the size, obviously, uh, the shape of the array which we need to return. Now let's consider a code where we need to create a 2 cross 3 uniform distribution sample. So we just implement it on Jupyter Notebook. Alright. So here it is. Import numpy as np from numpy import random then x equal to random dot uniform. Since we are working on uniform distribution therefore we are taking here uniform method okay and in uniform method we are giving size here as 2 comma 3 so 2 comma 3 means uh, we will be printing an array of two rows and 3 means every row consists of three elements okay so uh, it's like uh, certainly three columns okay then we are printing the value of x so let's save this code run this code all right so here it is this is the output a 2d array with a uniform distribution. Again, if we, we save this code again and run this code, we get a different set of values every time. Okay. Now, if you want to visualize uniform distribution, then let's consider one more code. Okay. And implement it here. Alright. So, import numpy as np from numpy import random import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import cbon as sns so whatever the library or the modules which we are using here we have already studied in the previous tutorials numpy is for array random is a module which is present in uh, numpy matplotlib this library is used for uh, printing the graph or plotting graph okay and cbon is used for distribution plot okay so all these packages or the modules we need to import then sns dot plot that is the distribution plot random dot uniform we need to plot this thing okay we need to uh, take the distribution that is a uniform distribution all the values okay so we are performing uh, this task in this statement okay so sns dot plot random dot uniform size 1000 that means here we are uh, giving a size of uh, 1000 values okay and we are making histogram as false okay so it will be a 1d array here okay but we are not printing that 1d array actually we are uh, performing a distribution plot and then we are uh, plotting okay that all the values on a graph and showing it by plt.show okay so let's save this code and run this code all right so here it is this is a visualization of uniform distribution where uh, these are certainly the values on x-axis and on y-axis we are plotting the probability density and this is certainly a curve of uniform distribution kindly ignore the warning this is because of the disk plot okay now the next distribution is logistic distribution if you talk about logistic distribution it is used to describe the growth and uh, basically it is used in machine learning in logistic regression neural network etc it, it is also having three parameters that means first one is the loc which means mean okay uh, where the peak is uh, present actually this represents by the mean its default value is 0. Second one is a scale uh, that represents the standard deviation or uh, it's called as the flatness of the distribution. Okay, uh, its default value is 1. And the last is the size, obviously the shape of the 
array which we want to return for this distribution. All right. So let's consider a code and uh, we build a logic logistic distribution. So here we need to draw two cross three samples from a logistic distribution where the mean is given as one and the standard deviation is given as two. Okay. So let's consider this code and uh, implement it here. All right. So import numpy as np from numpy import random x equal to random dot logistic. Obviously we are working on logistic distribution. So we are using logistic here. LOC equal to 1, that is mean is equal to 1, scale, that is the standard division, that is equal to 2, and the size we are giving here is 2, 3, that means uh, we want to print 2 rows of the array and uh, 3 uh, values respectively in each row, okay, and then we are printing its value, okay, so let's save this code and run this code, so here it is, this is the value of logistic distribution, okay, that means it's a 2D array, all right, now uh, if we uh, want to print the basic value of logistic distribution that means um, uh, which which possess uh, the default parameters okay so let's consider this code again okay and uh, implement it here and uh, just make only these size okay and uh, there will be no standard deviation and the mean so obviously the mean will be zero and the standard deviation will be one by default okay so now let's save this code again and run this code so here it is. It's a value of logistic distribution for default parameters. Now, if you want to uh, perform the visualization of logistic distribution, so let's consider a code and uh, then we will see how its graph is plotted. All right. From numpy import random import matplotlib dot pyplot splt. Okay, we can include here numpy also import numpy as np okay then from numpy import random import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import c1 as sns then sns dot displot random dot logistic we are taking size equal to 1000 as one of the parameter we need 1000 values and we are making histogram as false then we are plotting the graph here okay by plt dot show all right so let's save this code and run this code so here it is this is the logistic distribution plot where these are certainly the values okay and this is the probability density and uh, here uh, we uh, took the default values for the mean and the standard deviation we can give certainly uh, some values like loc e equal to uh, just something like 2 and uh, we can take standard deviation as scale equal to 3 and uh, then size uh, we just considered it as same as 1000 so let's save this code again run this code so here it is this is the graph for the respective values all right now if we talk about the difference between logistic and normal distribution then uh, nearly uh, both the uh, distributions are somehow identical okay because we are taking the mean and the standard deviation in both the distribution but if we talk about logistic distribution it has uh, some more area uh, covered okay as, as compared to normal distribution actually uh, it represents more possibility of occurrence of an event uh, than the normal distribution okay so uh, if we take higher value of scale about then the normal and the logistic distributions will become nearly identical or equal apart from the peak. That means there will be a difference in the peak, but somehow what these both normal and logistic will look somehow what similar. So let's consider one code and then we will understand what, how to show the difference. Okay. So let's consider this code import numpy as np from numpy import random import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import c bone as sns now uh, first we will plot the normal distribution for normal distribution we are taking sns dot displot random dot normal scale that means here standard division we are taking it as 2 size we are taking the 1000 that means uh, 1000 values histogram we are making it as false and we are labeling the graph by normal 
Then um, we will take about the logistic distribution that is sns.displot random.logistic size we are taking here as 1000 by default its uh, value for the mean is 0 okay and uh, standard deviation is 1 okay so the, the, that will be the by default values histogram we are making it as false and we are labeling this graph by logistic then we are plotting it okay by plt.show so let's save this code run this code all right so here it is so this is somehow what similar or compatible uh, curve for both normal and logistic distribution but if you just see the difference between the peaks okay so obviously there is a gap between both these curves okay so it has been already uh, told or discussed that there will be difference between the peaks but uh, if you talk about the other features of the curve, they are somewhat compatible. All right. Now, the next is multimodal distribution. See, we have uh, discussed about binomial distribution, that means which has uh, two values, uh, that means by. Okay. And uh, now, if you talk about multimodal distribution, it is a generalization of binomial distribution. Uh, this concept has been come up from binomial distribution itself. And uh, there we have two outcomes actually but here we are having multiple uh, multiple outcomes that means unlike binomial where the scenarios must be only one of two but here there is much more values okay for example if you just consider the blood type of a population uh, that means a b uh, o or if we type or uh, talk about the dice roll outcomes that means that we, it may be like one two three four five or six okay so these are certainly the values which are presented uh, if we are um, if an event is going to be an occur so these are certainly the values which will be present uh, as an outcome in a multimodal distribution so it also has three parameters like first one is n that is the number of possible outcomes for example if you take a dice roll it will be six p was or the probability values uh, that should be a list of probability of the outcomes okay so every uh, every outcome will have certainly a probability so here will be the probabilities 1 by 6 for each and every outcome of a dice roll okay and next one is the size obviously the shape of the array which you want to return all right so let's consider a code and then we will understand about multimodal distribution more so we need to draw out a sample for a dice roll okay so let's consider this code and implement on jupyter notebook all right so import numpy as np from numpy import random x equal to random dot multimonial okay so we are taking multimonial here then n equal to 6 that means we are having 6 trials p values or the probability values for each trial is given that means 1 by 6 okay and then we are printing the value of x okay so let's save this code and run this code so for the multimonial distribution okay now there are some points to be noted that means multimodal samples will not produce a single value actually uh, they will produce one value for each people okay uh, that's uh, we have already discussed previously that uh, every outcome is associated with a probability okay then it also has been generalized form of binomial distribution and if you talk about the visual representation of multimodal uh, representation or multimodal distribution it will be similar to multiple binomial distribution if it has been compared with a normal distribution okay so uh, the next thing is if you talk about the visualization of multimodal distribution so let's consider a code and implement it here all right so import numpy as np from numpy import random import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import cbon as sns sns dot displot random dot multimonial n equal to six again we are taking uh, the same uh, case of uh, dice roll that means number of trials will be six or the number of values will be six okay and every uh, respective values we are having these probability okay that means one by six for each value or each outcome okay and we are taking the sizes 10 okay so the sample size will be 10 we are making histogram as false and we are labeling the graph by multimonial 
then we are plotting it by BLT dot show. Okay, so let's save this code, run this code. All right, so here it is. So here is the graph for multimodal distribution. We can see uh, certainly that means we are having one peak here. We are also having one peak here. These are certainly the values of the multimodal distribution. And this is the probability density. Okay. So this is how we can visualize a multimodal distribution. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. We will come with more exciting lectures. Kindly do subscribe to my channel.